In Perry County, an unlikely culprit is to blame for the loss of a family's home, photo memories, and several pets following a fire in Troy. The offender is the family's cat. However, the family says the devastating blaze was not their first encounter with a surprise fire. Tonight, they're warning other homeowners to take safety precautions with pets. I want to see Cindy Davis has more. The Smith family says they've lost nearly everything in a fire that was started with the gas stove. But they say it's not the first time something like this has happened. In less than an hour, a family of six watched the place they've called home become unrecognizable and were forced to say their final goodbyes to nearly a dozen of their pets. Dolly Smith says her alarm went off just before 6 a.m. I came out of the bedroom after my alarm went off and I heard my middle oldest daughter screaming that there was smoke. And of course, at that point, I could see it, smell it, feel it. And I ran into the kitchen where I found where my gas stove had been lit from a cat. I tried to throw water on it and it did not work. Her son and his girlfriend were forced to climb out the window and onto the roof while the remaining family members escaped to the front yard. It was a utility truck that came over and got them off the second story and saved a couple of the dogs that way. Several cats, dogs and puppy litters were not as fortunate and the city has offered to help bury them. 13-year-old Raylan Smith says she's devastated about losing her fur babies, especially her seven-month-old pug, Gunner. I suffer from bad social anxiety, and when I do, I have panic attacks in stores, and Gunner was warning how to take care of me. I always took him to King Chef Monday, and he did absolutely great. The mother says almost two years ago, a fire broke out in the same way, except it was isolated to the kitchen and there was no damage. She's warning people to take the necessary safety precautions so they don't suffer the same fate. I went and got the, um, the knobs that you get to keep babies from turning on your knobs, but one of them broke. The fire broke out before she had a chance to replace it. It's been amazing. People are already dropping off clothes and, and uh, neighbors we're here to help because they had a fire up the street, so they kind of knew some of the procedures. In Troy, Sydney Davis, Eyewitness News.